anime fans, it's Katie Cullen with Fanversation.com, and I'm here at Anime Expo 2022. Here's who I talked with today. I'm here with Kiara. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Speaking of, you've done Anime Expo before, yeah? I've done it a couple times, This, but this has been a while ever since, you know, we don't talk about the Bruno now. <laughs> it's, it's the first one since lockdown. Yes. Yes. So, have you seen anything super fun or super wild today? Anything memorable? Yes. Okay. So, I saw two people. <laughs> oh, yes, immediately. Yes. I right. saw two people. It was like Have you you have you ever seen a mosh pit, but it was like a sword fighting pit? And it was kind of insane because the girl was like sword fighting in heels. I I don't think I've ever seen that in my I've probably seen it on YouTube, but not in real life. So this was crazy. <laughs> to say that sounds extremely anime. Yes. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Perfect for anime expo. Exactly. So can you describe for our viewers what you do? Yes. Yeah, so hey guys, I am Kira Please. I'm a content creator. I am a cosplayer. I'm a streamer. I'm a voice actress. I'm a host. I do like a lot of random um, different facets within the nerdy community. And that's kind of my gist and what I do most of the time. So you wear all the hats. Yes, literally all of Well, I'm not wearing one right now, but usually, usually you will see me with a couple. <laughs> all right. Which hat is your favorite or which one do you enjoy most? That's a good question. What? It can have multiple answers. You don't have to pick just the one. Okay. Um, I would say currently my favorite that I've been striving towards is voice acting. And I found a new love of streaming recently because you really get to interact with your community and on like pretty much obviously live, but it's just in a different form, which I've never experienced. Yeah, it's, it's a little more extemporaneous. That, what's that word mean? Oh, <laughs> just improvised on off the beat, just very quick. I love that. Extemporaneous. I'm using that now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Take it and run. It's a $5 word. My gift to you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so what do you like to stream then? Mm, so currently I'm streaming The Quarry, which is a scary horror game. Um, but usually I like to call my streams chaotic just chaos you never know what you're gonna get but if you come you will have fun one day you might see horror games one day you might see singing in auto-tune and one day we might be doing karaoke or one day i might be teaching you how to dougie I, it, it's whatever we want it to be you just go with the flow but you will have a good time that sounds fantastic we're talking extemporaneous Ex that's yes, it yes. that's it it's extemporaneous yes yes it is the brain is still here. It's Anime Expo I day three, folks. We're having guys, a great time. Our brains are gone. <laughs> we have been going through it. So appreciate us because we believe in ourselves and so should you. <laughs> <laughs> believe in me who believes in you. Yes. There we go. We'll go with that. Where would you like to take your Twitch stream? What's, what's mm. goals? What would you like to do next? Ooh, I think um, one thing that I've found out about myself through Twitch streaming is I really like talking to people and hosting and kind of being um, like just in the moment. So I hope that leads me to more on camera work, um, more things in person like Anime Expo, maybe doing more panels, um, hosting more events, live events, whether that's festivals or um, I don't know, a night market or anything that kind of yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Gets a group of people together and we can kind of share that energy and I can bounce off their energy. So what's pie in the sky then? What is like the big dream, the big one? The big dream would be to, this is going to sound crazy because it's probably going to deal nothing with what I just said. My big dream would be to make a company or franchise that is similar to that of like a Cartoon Network or an HBO, but it has all its own titles and um, conventions. Uh, music, clothing, um, festivals, and it kind of lives under that hub. And I just kind of make my own version of what I would like to see in like mediums and like the outlets and entertainment industry. You want to be the next entertainment guru. You want to yeah. be the next. I hesitate to say Disney because that's that's a yeah. lot. That is, that's a I, lot. I know, that's what I'm but saying. The it next sounds wild. Video, yeah, <laughs> it sounds wild. That's what I'm like. Should I say? Di I don't know. Maybe I should start smaller. <laughs> No, I mean, dream big. I would say shoot for the stars, but if you want to be the next Disney, shoot for the mouse, I guess. Okay. That's clever. <laughs> That's very clever. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to tell your fans? Hmm. 
I would like to say thank you for the continuous support. Thank you for being patient with me through all my trials and tribulations of just becoming who I am as a creator and as um, an artist, so to speak. So just thank you. I appreciate you for loving me for who I am and nothing more than that. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been great. Yes, I appreciate you. I I want to come back. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for watching.